Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what I'd like to do in this video is provide an overview of the powerful CAD system called Solid Design provided by 1CNC. So let's get started. So first of all, Solid Design is a very powerful CAD system provided by 1CNC, and it provides the ability to create wireframe geometry, solids, and surfaces. In fact, it also provides hybrid modeling where you can work with both solids and surfaces, and you can even combine the two if you'd like to get whatever type of shape or part that you need. So for wireframe geometry, over here on the main toolbar, you can create points, lines, arcs, and of course you can do things like moving your geometry, rotating, mirroring, there's trim tools, you can create text, create dimensions, there's also special shapes you can create. Then if you'd like to create solid models, you can perform extruding from wireframe geometry, extrude cut, extrude boss, you can extrude surfaces, extrude text. You can also start with a solid primitive if you'd like to, or if you want you can use surfaces and then convert those into solids, or if you want you can leave them at surfaces if you'd like. Then there's other tools here for doing things like extracting geometry, adding fillets, doing things like shelling, parting if you're doing a lot of mold work. There's a perfect render for getting photorealistic renderings of your part and there's also other tools to help out with geometry creation. And then here's your hybrid modeling. This is where you can work with both solids and surfaces. We're going to be taking a look at some of these items a little bit closer in upcoming videos. So let's take a look now at the user interface a little bit. We've already looked at the main toolbar and you can select an option and once you do that you can then select another option just by clicking on the icon. Uh, as you're learning the main toolbar you can always click the home button and that will give you the icon as well as a nice description over here on the right. Up here in the upper left hand corner these are standard Windows tools like new, open, save, undo and redo. There's also tools for manipulating the drawing area right here. In fact here's your X axis and Y axis and there's your datum, your X0, Y0, Z0. There's also an axis gnome in the lower right hand corner. As far as these display tools are concerned you can perform a lot of these functions with the mouse. So for example if I roll the wheel on the mouse I can zoom in and zoom out. If I push the wheel down and treat it like a button and then move the mouse I can rotate and then if I hold the control key down on the keyboard press the button down to move the mouse I can pan. Up here these are different selection tools. Unlike other CAD systems there's more than just the standard way to select geometry. Of course you can select geometry one entity at a time or you can change select or use a window but with the one CNC solid design you can also select by layer, select by color, select by groups. There's lots of different ways you can select geometry. These are your transform tools. This is where you can move, rotate, mirror. Uh, this is where you manipulate your geometry. That's also located within the main toolbar as well, so you can access the same commands there. Up here in the upper right hand corner, this is a very powerful tool. This is called Quick Access Toolbar. And what this does is this allows you to create a custom toolbar in which you can use any time during your geometry creation. In fact, the idea is that you're going to want to populate this with your most commonly used commands. If you want to add a command to this toolbar, all you do is head over here and for example, let's say we want to add some extrude tools. All you have to do is just right hand mouse click on the command that you want to add. If you want to remove a tool from the quick access toolbar, just right hand mouse click on that. And you're not limited uh, to just geometry tools. In fact, I am going to add a couple more here. Let's, let's add a fillet command, maybe a shell command, extract command. But you can also add things like construction plane tools. So if I head over here and grab a couple of these commands, we can add those to the quick access toolbar. You can also add verification tools for verifying geometry. So again, once you set this quick access toolbar up, it'll always be there. You can always edit this, manipulate it any way you'd like. And you can remember, you can remove items just by right hand mouse clicking on an item. Now, if we take a look over here on the far right, there's four different palettes you can choose from. There's the layer palette, the verify palette, history, and recent. Let's talk about these. Well, the layer palette, that's pretty self-explanatory. You can work with layers if you'd like to. You can create different layers and rename them and turn them on and off. And you can even select geometry by layers if you'd like. There's the verify palette. These are your verification tools for verifying geometry, both wireframe, solids, and surfaces. There's a history palette. This will record all of your actions when creating your geometry. There's uh, very nice things you can do with this, and we'll talk about this a little bit more in subsequent videos, but this is your history palette. 
And then the recent palette, this shows you the recent part files that you have loaded within one CNC. And the reason that this is here is if you want to, you can load a file by just clicking on that. Now notice how there's a nice little icon right here that shows you the part file. And then if you want to load another part, you can do that as well. Why don't we load that one and load that one. Now, unlike a lot of CAD systems, the 1CNC Solid Design is a multiple document application. You can work on multiple files all at the same time. In fact, you can copy geometry from one file to another. In fact, if we head up here to Window, why don't we do a cascade? You can see we have different files here. And of course, you can maximize any one of these and work on them. And again, you can copy geometry back and forth between them. So remember, the 1CNC Solid Design, multiple document application. You don't have to have multiple versions or multiple sessions of the Solid Design to be working on multiple files. All right, so down here in the lower portion of the right side of the screen here, we have Modify, Styles, and two color palettes. The Modify allows you to modify your geometry. This could be surfaces, solids, or wireframe geometry. In this example, I'm just going to change the color of this. That looks good. There's other things you can set up here as well. Style sets up the actual line style, so when you're creating your wireframe geometry, you can set that up here. And then these two color palettes determine the color that the geometry is going to be created in. This left palette's for your wireframe geometry, and the right hand palette's for your solids and surfaces. You can select from this a menu here or list of colors, or you can go to more colors, or if you hit custom, you can really specify any type of custom color that you'd like. All right, and then finally over here in the lower left-hand corner, there's a couple of different options here. One of them is called Pages. Pages will allow you to easily create prints from solid models, and we're going to show this a little bit later on in a subsequent video. Section is a cross-section tool. This will create cross-sectional geometry parallel to the current construction plane. Current construction plane on this part is the XY construction plane, so when I go into the Section tool, and as I slide this through here, we can come through here and we can cross-section this. If I add this option called Add to Screen, that will create geometry at that level. And you can, of course, you can type in different levels here if you want to as well. So that's the Section tool. Display is for solids and surfaces. And you can change from different display types like wireframe. We go back in here, maybe go to transparent. So the different types of display attributes you can set for your solids and surfaces. I'm going to go back to normal there. These are your construction plane tools. This is, provides the ability to create and modify construction planes, and you can also save construction planes as well. And then uh, there's an option here called View, and this is simply for changing your view. So if I switch to a top view, you'll see that'll take place. A nice shortcut is hit the space bar. That'll present the View button right where your cursor is. That's really handy to quickly change your views that you'd like. And then finally, in the lower left-hand corner, that's just the location of the cursor. Okay, that's it for this video. This was just a quick overview of the 1CNC Solid Design user interface. Take a look at the next videos because we're going to start creating geometry and we're also going to do things like create prints in that. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.